So you have you have this song that God gives you mm -hmm. at a time when the world needs it. Mm -hmm. And it's a song as someone that grew up in Lebanon, someone that grew up in Israel, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> America. I'm here. <laughs> um tell me about the song. Like how did it come about? Why do you feel like now's the time it's supposed to be released? Walk me through a little bit of that. Honestly, it wasn't me deciding when to be released. The Lord was walking me in a journey. Um, when he started putting me into worship in 2019 mm -hmm. to connect me just to you in part of that time, 2019 in October. Mm -hmm. And then that was the beginning of the story. And God showed me a vision. We were on the stage and we were worshiping together. Wow. And, and my friend saw the same dream and she confirmed wow. that. And I was like, I don't know how that would happen. Wow. And, um, so, so, and then the Lord took me to a journey from, um, and he was taking me on a journey since 2016. It started um, from Rabbi Jason Sobel. I, he preached in mm -hmm. um, one of the ministry, I lecture with Jeremy and Miranda Nelson. I was doing mm -hmm. an internship there. And I first, the first time I hear a rabbi talking, um, you know, about Israel, the way that he, I never, ever seen it in the Bible, the way that he explained it. And something was unlocked in me. Wow. And I start that journey. Wow. And until the Lord in 20, before COVID, um, I started hearing his voice tell me, you, I need you to start meeting people from Israel. And I'm like, I don't know anyone. I was already listening to Messianic music. But then COVID happened. In uh, 2020, um, uh, January, um, I start connecting to, connecting to people there a little bit. But then he released a song um, in April, right? It was yeah, April of 2020. Remember. I yeah. remember okay. details. I, I cannot forget. It was April 2020. He released the song Refana. And when I heard it the first time, it hit me. I was like, what was that? Mm. And I was like, this guy is anointed. Like, he's... So uh, I listened to it and I was like, okay, so I took it. I think his, the, the, the lady, who, the girl who sing with him, I messaged her and I'm like, can I get like the chord, like words, whatever, I'm gonna do it in Arabic. What are you guys saying? And it was a healing song. And I was already praying for healing between our nation, uh, my country and his country. I was already doing it. I'm like, this would be perfect to sing, you mm. know, over Lebanon and just yeah. healing. So, um, so I played it on my guitar, and I po I didn't want to pose. I was I was really afraid to pose it. I knew it'll be a problem, but I put my Lebanese hat. You remember? So I put my Lebanese, and I'm like, I'm gonna have to be bold. I I was inspired by your boldness. I'm, like, I'm gonna have to do this, and um, so I posted it on on social media, and he he was in shock. Tell him your part. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was for eight years. Um, um, a captain in, in the Navy, kind of the Navy SEALs of, of Israel. Mm -hmm. And for me, Lebanon, it's a place of war. Yeah. It's not, I, I never thought that I would speak with someone from Lebanon, of course, not about collaborations and music and things yeah. like this. So when I saw her message right away, I thought that it's like kind of uh, someone that want to do this. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know if I need to answer to this message. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Skeptical. Yeah, exactly. And it took me, I think, a couple of days couple to answer of days, yeah. because, um, yeah. And 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 after I I I saw the video and and I saw the messages, so the first thing that I was thinking of is that, wow, I'm not really understand where I live, because there are different people in Lebanon. There are people that praying for peace, and there are people that yeah. that trying to kill me. Right. And and right. It was like. It just opened my eyes, and and by the way, the the singing was amazing, and uh, the Arabic version was amazing, and um, I felt like most of my journey in my life, what leads me is 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 my heart, and of course music. Like mm -hmm. it's helped me to 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 go deeper with my faith, music, right. and everything. so and and the, and the same time, I feel that when you send me this message is help me to grow with my understanding that there are differences mm -hmm. but right. we can come together and yeah. it's all because that the music is it's kind of um, um um a medicine can i say that mm -hmm. that help you to, to yeah. forget a little bit about the conflict yeah. and just mm -hmm. to focus on the that it's nice okay yeah. for, for a couple of seconds so it was kind of a magic that allowed me 
as someone that was fighting in Lebanon to listen to this song for a moment and then to speak with you. And when we spoke, I understood that uh, she's an amazing person. By the way, this is the first time we meet. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the first time we, are, we spoke a lot mm -hmm. on TV together and, and we made a lot of interviews. But, uh, and of course on, on phone, yeah. but uh, we never met. Wow. So this is the first time. Wow. Um, so what's happened w fr from my side is that it just started with, there was a lot of versions to this song right. in Arabic and in more languages. Yeah. And it just, the, there was an article that they wanted to do on the song in Israel, in, a big, in the biggest news uh, station. But what it, and I, and I didn't realize that it's a big deal with Lebanon, the, mm -hmm. the fact that she made this version. I until, <laughs> until, until they just post the video that she said, like with the hat of Lebanon, they just post it, they put it on the first page of the news in Israel with their face, like the song that make healing all over the world, and they put the Lebanon flag with her and everything. My face was not there, it was only the hat, remember? Yeah, oh, the I hat, was glad, oh, I'm glad yeah, my she, face she, is she, not there, I'm like, I'm good. So, so, that, so, so then we started to understand that there is something here that, that wow. can maybe bring kind of a hope, yeah. although it's, it's, it was a song for my grandma about healing and then it's become a healing song for, for, for the COVID time. Mm -hmm. but, but she had a, a real good will to, to, to make it like a healing between nations. Yeah. And we felt that the people of Israel want to hear this message. Right. We didn't know how the the Arab world will will oh. will, will be with it. Yeah. And I and I think that um, but I think that the Arab world it's like split for two. There was countries like the 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 Gulf country that was really that really liked the the idea and we made right. a lot of interviews all yeah. over there. But there was uh, countries that decided to do a uh, kind of uh how it's called for you oh, yeah, you yeah. Wanna, maybe you can share yeah, it like got lots of death threats mm -hmm. and lots of yeah. hate and lots of uh, right um it was it was rough i never was exposed to things like that this kind of language in my life you know and uh, i was like lord just because you want to sing a song just because i want yeah. to sing a song with um yeah. and i i spoke i remember i spoke on one of the media news it's actually was the, in, in dubai and i was just like this i'm christian i mean this is a, in, in matthew it's written that we have to just love our enemies to bless them and you know mm -hmm. the, you know yeah. just like yeah uh, you know, to love our neighbor, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, it's commandment from, from, our, from, our, from Jesus as a Christian. Mm -hmm. I would say that on the, and I'm like, you cannot take that away from us as Christian. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. not supposed to be enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they were just like, oh, we never heard that before, like this way, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just like, we've been, we have, yeah. we've been silent as Christians, not supporting Israel. And, you know, the things that it's for years that they, you know, I, I believe that was taken away from long time when you know the Catholic and you know, all the churches like they took away in that time our, our roots as Christian from you know from the Jewish people they separated them and that kind of brought I was just like getting the relation of what really happened to get us to where we are right now mm -hmm. just it was just if we see everything going back it got me to see like there's always the devil was going after the Jews because God loved the Jewish and um, and you know and he he enemy he hates what God's love and that's mm -hmm. why we've seen all this killing yeah. and destruction and holocaust and yeah. all these things that yeah. happened to them so that was like an awakening for me that right. we cannot continue this way especially right. reading, reading Roman 11 seeing what God what you know right. Jesus yeah. said about uh -huh. you know the Jewish and that kind of brought a big like I'm like okay you know this is our mission we yeah. have to stand with the Jewish and yeah. I, I'm like Lord just give me the boldness to do yeah. this because it's not gonna be easy like with the banning of my country it was from the government i got it's it from the lebanese government they banned me to not enter lebanon and not only lebanon oh yeah they said that the, like there yeah, is like uh they said the middle like the like the, uh, they talked to the arab uh, arabic organization like jana the dual arabi the organization of the arab so i think every country who like who is enemy to israel i cannot go there i can go to dubai you know, I but but this is crazy. Think about it. You you you. you, you need to okay. Well, this is important. I think that. Yeah, I'm getting it all. Just changing on something real quick. Yeah, this is important. 
I've gotten everything. Just all right. Go ahead. So what part did you get? I I think that the that, that this is like very important to say that they took a singer that want to sing with the Israeli singer, and they made a big court and discussion about her, and the decision was that she is not allowed to go to the most of the countries in the Middle East because that she was singing with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so think about it. Like, she's wow. just a regular person that want to sing. So they yeah. took it really serious. Yeah. And uh, the spokesman of, of, um, of uh, Benjamin... That was after two years. After two, that was last December yeah. that happened. Mm-hmm. And, and the spokesman of Benjamin Netanyahu, when we released the, the song together, eventually what we, what we did, I didn't say it, we... We decided to sing it, and I, I sang I sang it in in Arabic too. Yeah. And we released a new ver- version of the song in Arabic together. And the spokesman of Benjamin Netanyahu just tweeted on it and said that this is what Hezbollah is afraid of. Yeah. And then all the mess I think oh, started. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like the Hezbollah like. came to search for. Yeah, they came. Um, um, I heard what I used to live. Um. My neighbors told my my mom um, that they were looking for me and mm-hmm. my family yeah. in my house in what I the house yeah. that I left before I came here. Wow! But we don't we don't live there anymore because my dad passed away and we don't have the place anymore. So they were looking for me because, you know, I'm I'm married now my last name and I actually didn't register my marriage over there because my husband American so yeah. I'm not registered there. Right. So it took them time to know who is that Korean right. Sealy because right. my last name is something else. So we don't before right. marriage. So, um, but um, yeah, this so is I'm, very radical. Yeah. Like, it's very radical, and there's that there's she, a, she risk the life of 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 I don't know of of your but for yourself like uh, of yourself and y- your family for music. I don't know if you understood that it's gonna be so. But I did, but, I, but I was listening to God. But think about it. It's, they they fighting. <clears throat> I think that this is kind of a sign for us. Yeah. That worship is important. Yeah. Because if they fight so hard against it, yeah. it means that it's important. Mm-hmm. It is very. You important. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a war against it. Yeah, you and know what the media said? They said it's a very naive move, like from someone to do a song, you know? Like, and I'm just like, oh, you guys are really afraid of this, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, yeah, because there's purity in our worship, you know? Well, and it's not, and 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 it's also this thing of songs go to places they 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 bypass the mm-hmm. intellect mm-hmm. and the biases and mm-hmm. they go to the heart yeah right yeah. that's yeah. what happened mm-hmm. you heard his song yeah it bypassed all of your preconceived thoughts mm-hmm. when you were hiding from israeli bombs as yeah. a kid and you were hiding from lebanese <laughs> bombs as a kid right i mean the story is just it's yeah. crazy and and the song bypassed that, and there was an anointing on it that hit your heart. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's the scariest thing mm-hmm. to politicians, to those in power, to those that want war, yeah. is that music brings people together. Yeah. Songs bring healing. You know, songs bring healing. Yeah. Music brings people together. And that's the heart behind even this song. Mm-hmm. You know, is at a time right now where... It's like, you know, you can't be on the right side. Like everybody on either side is angry if you're not, you know, it's like, you don't, people don't know what to do. They don't want And it's like, this is why I think it's so powerful to say, you know what? We're just going to shut all the noise off. We're going to sing God's blessing Amen. over Israel, Amen. you know, because his word lasts forever. Amen. So what is your guys' hope or, you know, your desire when this song comes out like what 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 would be like because i feel like songs are like arrows yeah you know like you like god gives them to you to hit a target yeah. what is the target for this song well you know as a christian you know we know that our battle is not against blood flesh and blood you know mm-hmm. and so f- and seeing the vision of like how like the battles happen in the airways and releasing the sound in the airways because the sound is like is an echo right to hear mm-hmm. and i i believe that god is gonna shift something in that region through our mm-hmm. voice because it's yeah. gonna be going from 
you know, yeah. it's going to be released in the sun and they're from radio station from there, you know, from Israel right. that it's already been prepared for that right now. And it just, um, I'm believing that's going to, um, they're going to be an, a shaking to open some people's eyes, you know, uh -huh. um, to remove a veil yeah. from their eyes that's been for years of hate, hatred towards each other and to be able to see that we can do this like no matter how much the big of the conflict is we can still sit together no matter what you know mm. um we you know just looking at him we still we were talking like we cannot believe we're just still sitting here together you know because it's 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 crazy right yeah and uh, i i wish that uh, this will be um just the first step of more people that will join to this to this right. movement mm -hmm. I, I can call that Israelis and an Arab can actually do things together mm. and not only because it's the po the right politics move mm. although because this is what God said mm -hmm. because I think there are a lot of of project about um like let's say secular project i don't know how to call it right. but there are not enough projects that are talking about that we both of us the sons of abraham mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. so simple we are family yeah. you know so th this is something very deep that i don't think that people talking about it enough yeah. that we are family mm -hmm. you know when when we work on the song on this song and we try to to translate it to hebrew so it was so funny because the Arabic and the Hebrew language is almost almost the same. Mm -hmm. If you if you will hear the song, you will see that I will say Atakadosh and see and she said Intakadus. Inta it's like it's the same, it's the same language, you know. It's Arabic, Aramic, and uh Hebrew, it's the same the same family of, of languages. It means that if we will try to get maybe for the first time to try to to get the process of peace from the faith uh, with with faith, not yeah. to tell faith and religions it's something that makes wars. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't believe in this in this when, when people saying something like this because if you go deeper with your faith, uh, of course, Christian and, and Jews, we are talking about peace, yeah. and we are talking about go back to the source of the Bible mm -hmm. of what happened in the history and what's happened in the history is that we are neighbors we are friends we are right. family we used to be tribes that living together in the Middle East and I hope that that this project will be kind of a first or maybe second mm -hmm. um, um, sign for people that they can take it from here too yeah. and to join to this movement of peace through and with faith, uh, this is what there's, I hope. There's for. something about there's something too about artists creating art and writing songs that matter. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't mean <clears throat> I don't mean I've had albums and song. I've had projects that hit number one on iTunes for days and went above other genres, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, but like that's never like my goal. Like I don't dream for that, you know, like I dream and I think every artist and worshiper dreams to have songs and stuff that matter, mm -hmm. that change people's lives. And in order to do that, <clears throat> you got to do things that risk, right? Like, mm -hmm. like you were, you know, you were risking the fact that you were singing this, mm -hmm. this Jewish guy's song, mm -hmm. you know, in Arabic. And I think that, the times that we're living in are going to require courageous artists, courageous songwriters mm -hmm. and worshipers that are going to do things that people haven't done before. That's why I wanted to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like, you know, if <laughs> your normal, your normal English or, or American worship leader, whatever, they don't want to get Involved. in all this. Yeah. It's just, they don't know what to think. They don't know what to say. They don't, you know, they, they want to stay on the bounds of, exactly. They want to be politically correct. You know, I was not built that way. You know, like I want to risk. I mean, I've gotten, you know, we're going to do worship tonight. So I've gotten more hate and pushback 
for this mm -hmm. than so many things. You know, I don't care. But I was born for this, you know, like songs. And it's interesting because it's it's a song of peace, but it's a song of war mm -hmm. against those things that want to destroy peace. Yeah. You know, it's like a, it's like actually a, a that's what, you know, pe peace is the prince of peace. Yeah declares war and everything that doesn't that doesn't want to mm -hmm. you know bring people together and so for for me like that's what makes me excited like if people around the world can see someone from Lebanon someone from Israel singing a song to God together mm -hmm. and if they can break down the walls then why can't you? And why can't you? And why can't you know what I'm saying? Like it's exactly. it's it's really powerful, and um, and I think it's something that uh, you know I just commend you guys, and I'm just proud to call you friends and be a part of this because I think that that's something that the world really needs. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's a, I think it's people are attracted to hope. They want a good story. You know, like all we're seeing all the time is destruction and death and yeah. division. And it's like, please give us a story of hope, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and so and so this is just a, like a water to a thirsty land, a thirsty world. Mm -hmm. And of course, the media won't ever paint it right because they thrive on war and division and fear. Yeah. We saw that in COVID. It's all fear mm -hmm. gets us to keep watching. But hope destroys all that, you know. So I think that's what God's going to use this song to do. Yeah, and I saw, honestly, I, I, on Yom Kippur this year, I, I asked the Lord, I'm like, Lord, what do you have over over this region, like over Israel? And I saw a big word of unity, mm. you know, and I believe just like coming mm. together, you know, as a Christian, this is the time. Because, a house, you know, a house divided cannot stand. And right. there's been this unity even in his country for the last 10 months. You know, and I believe it's going to, there's yeah. a unity. It's going to be, you know, um, released even in the sound. I, so. I feel that we are living in a, in, a, in a moment, a very historical moment, when the Christian need to stop support Israel and to come and to be part of this mm -hmm. thing that's happening right now, to be mm -hmm. part of Israel, because, because, we're starting to understand that it's not a war of Israel only. Mm -hmm. And in as you said about threats that you get, I get <clears throat> so many in the mm -hmm. last few in the last few weeks when I started to post about the war now in Israel. Right. Just to tell the truth, I'm not posting like crazy things. It just although the situation is it's crazy, but I'm just telling what's happening. Right. And the social media is like attacking me that the social media itself like the the platforms they they deleting my post and and a lot of things censorship and yeah things. and um my tiktok was was deleted yesterday my youtube got a banned a couple of times um but what i'm going to say is that we get a lot i'm getting a lot of threats from people from us and europe and i'm not talking about people in israel on palestine I'm talking about people here in the yeah. U.S. Yeah. It means that this war is not only about Israel. It's maybe start with Israel because Israel is the main, um, like the land and the people is the first, the first people to attack because first we, because we are there and second because it's a holy place. So mm -hmm. the, the devil is always yeah. start to hold it, mm -hmm. but it's not a goal. The goal is first to destroy the strongest, I don't know, place and then to go to move forward to the, to the other nations. So I think that I was really worried to see that right now in the U.S. there are so many people that don't know what's happening in Israel and what's happening in the Middle East and they got so many fake news. But although they are like, yeah, we are against Israel. We are against Israel and they're fighting for this, but they don't know the facts. Yeah. So I think that this is the moment for the Christian community to understand that they're going to be next and they need to fight mm -hmm. because it won't stop with Israel. Yeah. And I think that, that this song is, is, is a great opportunity to, to tell this story and to, to be kind of um, 
um, a message to the world, hey, you don't understand. Here are two people that need to be enemies coming and singing together. So you don't understand the story. Right. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. It breaks the algorithm. Exactly. It breaks the narrative. It breaks exactly. the, 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 the cycle. And it's not because that she, she changed or I changed anything in my life. But she's still the same, Karin, and I'm still the same, Yair. And she accepts me as I am, <clears throat> as a former RDF captain and, and with my opinions. And I accept her with mm -hmm. her opinion, although we can come together. Yeah. So something, something maybe it's not so understood here in the U.S. about what's happening in the Middle East. Yeah. And, and we, we need to tell this story. And just the last thing that, that when we said that the, 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 there is a, like a, a, the devil fight against it, about, against the worship, against mm -hmm. the... So we, we was booked to come to Stanford last year to come and speak about peace. Mm -hmm. uh, it was last year, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a doctor over there that wanted to invite us. He was really moved. By the, by the song Rafana that we did in Arabic. And he wanted to invite us to speak about peace. And as I said, that I feel that there is something deep here that we can bring peace with faith. That is something mm -hmm. like new. It's not new, but it's, it's maybe sound new today. I don't know. So it was very interesting for him. He wanted us to come to speak with the students. And then they did Google, the, the students in the university. They, they did Google on me. And they saw that I'm a former IDF captain. And they decided that they want to, don't want to bring me to the university and they just canceled the event. By the way, those who canceled it was the Jewish people. And when we asked them, why do you cancel this event? They said, we're afraid from the pro-Palestinian people in the university. It means that people here don't want to hear a different message that can bring peace. Right. It's not that they yeah. they want to fight against me because I'm fighting or I don't know I'm I gonna I'm gonna bring a message of war. They don't want me and her to bring the message of peace. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. Yeah, because it destroys their narrative. Yeah. Exactly. It breaks their power. It breaks their ability to. I mean, that's 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 the beauty in the song. That's that's the power in what god's doing is is that it's it threatens everybody in their own camp mm -hmm. it's like no no no. god's writing a story he can actually do things way bigger yeah you know what if he brings these two people together and then it happens yeah. the thing happens that everyone says can happen and there's only one reason why it happened because of god yeah. and then they have to recognize that And these are people and institutions and stuff that are godless. Mm -hmm. And they don't want any trace of God or his handiwork mm -hmm. at all. So that's really what it comes down to. And that's, that's why releasing this to the world is going to be powerful. And that's why this conversation is powerful. And that's why, you know, it'll probably get censored and blocked and, <laughs> and all that stuff. But you know what? You know, God has a way of, 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 of getting this out there. Yeah. And he has a way of using this and the simplicity of this message to duplicate it again and again and again. Right. And so I think that, you know, I'm excited to see the testimonies that are going to come because, I mean, I've been all over the Middle East in mm -hmm. so many of these countries. And like I brought my friend Joel, who's a drummer in Israel. He's Jewish. I brought, I snuck him into Iraq with me one time wow. and I told him, I said, the people in Iraq are going to love you. And he wow. grew up his whole life. He's like, I can't go there. I'm like, they're going to love you. Trust me. They're my friends. Wow. And he comes into, you know, Northern Iraq and they love him. Like it just instantly, like this connection. Yeah. It's like, wait a second. Why have we been hating each other our whole lives? You're awesome. You know? Yeah. And it's like, Those walls breaking down are really powerful and music and worship songs do that. Mm -hmm. So how do you have America in this song? It's a good question. Right? Um, <laughs> how do you have me here? So what happened is when I first wrote the song, 
and and I shared it with Yair, and Yair was like, "Now, did you write it in Arabic?" Um, I write it in Arabic, and then I did the English, mm-hmm. and then I asked my friend who is Arab Christian Israeli in, in Israel to do it in Hebrew for me. Wow. So he did that for Hebrew in Hebrew. And then I remember, um, it was almost like, almost two years ago, I sent it to him after like maybe a few months. I'm like, hey, what do you think about the song? And I sang the Hebrew part for him. And he's like, Karina, I really like it. I was like, I know, right? So I'm like, There's, I don't know, the Lord gave me that song for, for something. And he's like, let's, okay, let's produce it. So we worked on it with his friend. Uh, and, uh, and then I'm like, okay, we need an American person to be in this song. <laughs> And um, the Lord um, just kept on seeing your, 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 you know, your face. And I, I told him, I feel like Sean Foyt is the person for the song. And um, so we finished it. When, when we finished it, and that was like in, in October, last October, uh, you know, actually before that, he showed me a dream. And I saw, I saw you involved in the song. And I'm like, okay, so the Lord confirming it's you. And God speak to me in dreams. I'm like a Joseph. God speak to me. Every step mm. I did was through dreams. That wow. it was like stamped by him. Like I have to push and do it. So um, so I, me- I, I emailed um, whatever the email I had from previous time when I connected with you. But I'm like, no, it's not the same email. Maybe because now he's on his own. It's his, his own ministry. So um, so I, I, I start, you know, messaging um, whatever the email on your website. And... Uh, for maybe like a, for a few months, and I have still heard nothing. I was like, Lord, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Like, maybe I'm not supposed to do this, and um, and it's not him. And and the Lord again is like, just trust me. This mm-hmm. it is Sean. And um, so what happened on? You came to San Diego in um, on New Year mm-hmm. to San Marcos, mm-hmm. and I I. I didn't, I, I like, I, I wanted to go, but I was like, I don't want to go start my year and trying to, to not to be there with the Lord, trying to figure out how I'm going to talk to you. So I decided not to go to watch it live at home with my friends, then mm-hmm. being there because I was like, I want to start my year focusing on the Lord. So, um, but then what happened on 1 1 2023, I saw another dream. And the Lord told me again, it's Sean who's going to be in the song. I was like, all right, Lord. Okay, I trust you. I don't know when it's going to happen. I, I trust you. So January passed. Um, February came. And, and I was like, Lord, his heart is not for Israel. Like right now he's focused on America. Like he's all for America right now. Two days after that, I see you posting that you are going to Israel. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Do you it's understand like, that there is people that dream a lot of dreams on you? Like, where you are like, like, <laughs> like it was, so I was like, all right, he's going to Israel. Like, okay, meaning I need all the help. I yeah. You know, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, and okay, I'll, it's him. So we get, I'm, I'll, I, get, I put it on the side and I prayed and I'm like, okay, well, let's see what's gonna happen. And um, so when you arrived, uh, you were posting you and your wife, you're in uh, Tel Aviv. And you know, um, and you were feeling, and, and I was like, Lord, it'll be hilarious if him and, Sh- and Yair and Sean will meet. I was just like, and on Wednesday, the same thing. I was like, God, it'll be hilarious if they meet. And on Thursday, I, I was having dinner. I look at my phone and I see you and him <laughs> on my phone. And I was just like, I threw my phone. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, what the heck is that going wow. on? And I told wow, him, I, didn't know it. I was like, and I imagine I was like, yeah, hey, what's going on? Like you're with Sean right now. And um and then I message you, I was like, I, I messaged you, I think on Instagram. Uh, I was like, I was like, Sean, this is the person I've been trying to tell you. We have to do this song with him. Like and <laughs> I sent you all this. And you, you know, you messaged that was the first time you replied to me on Instagram. And um I sent you the song and it happened that you heard the song in Israel. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it's crazy. Yes. Oh, and the wow. Lord told me, like, I was like, okay, I told him maybe I should, but I told him that like, I cannot, like, there is no plan B. It's only Sean. Like, there is yeah. no plan wow. B for this song. He is the person for wow. this song. Wow. And I kept, the Lord kept on, like, assure me to keep praying. He's like, it's a war song. You're going to have to fight for the right people wow. to be in it. 
Wow. And I knew your heart for this region because I followed your journey in the yeah. Middle East. Yeah. So I'm like, I knew your heart is there. So, but I was like, God, he's busy for America though. And the Lord's like, no, he's the person, wow. you know. And not wow. knowing, like That's we. So this cool. is very interesting yeah. because crazy. You, you need to understand that I'm not a lot on Instagram. Yeah. I'm just posting and close it because I don't like to be. Right. Like to, to see all. Sorry, but this is the truth. Right, I'm just yeah, posting yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. And I don't know why I just opened your your story, and I saw that you're walking down on my street. <laughs> so I sent you. Uh, and tell me. Hey, you are here. Like <laughs> you are here near to my house. And then it's it was a moment before Shabbat. So you just uh, answered me in Shabbat. So I didn't see it because I'm I'm keeping Shabbat. I'm an Orthodox Jew. So I think I saw it like just after it was Shabbat and a holiday. No, like I I think I saw it two days later because I think it was Shabbat and then holiday, mm-hmm. something like this. Yeah. Uh, that you answered me, hey, let's let's meet. So I said, yeah, let's do it. I said, oh, now I'm in Tiberius. <laughs> you know, so I said, okay. And it, this was funny because I had a, a meeting which, that was booked to Sefat, that it's like in the north too. And I told you like, okay, so next time, but if this... Uh, this was going to happen, the meeting in Sefat, so I will come. And then a couple of, I don't know, an hour later, I get a message from, from my friend from Sefat. Okay, so you need to come to Sefat. And I tell you, okay, I'm on my way to, to Tiberias. So this was, yeah, now that I hear your story, it sounds like... A, it was definitely what, a God yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is I, you know, it just... To keep up with all the random requests and the different things is so no, difficult. I I but knew, yeah. but but at the same time, I remember when you sent me the song, I was actually, because uh, we were on one of those big buses mm-hmm. in Israel, and I'm like, I was sitting with my wife, and um, we were on the bus, and everybody was in. It was like, I don't remember where we were, somewhere in Galilee, and everyone was eating at a restaurant, and I said, we should just let me just play this on the bus and what do you think, you know? And so I was sitting there in an empty bus and that's when I heard it first was in Galilee on a bus. And my wife was like, you should do this. This is cool. This is awesome. You know? And, (laughs) and, um, and then of course we met there and which was awesome. So it's really cool. God has his hand in all this and the timing of this and the fact that we were actually going to do this, um, this month, not knowing this war was going to break out, yeah, is- not knowing the whole world. And that's the other interesting thing is that people can't look at this song or this video and think, oh, you guys are just trying to insert yourselves into this story. Mm-hmm. This was planned a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, and it ago. just so happens mm-hmm. to come. Now, Israel is always relevant, right? There's never a bad time to sing a song of peace over Israel, right? There's never a bad time. However, it's, I don't know, when's the last time a conflict like this has happened in Israel? Or an event like this. You know? We think that, uh, like, the professional, I I can say, people in Israel saying, or professional people, uh, I can can say it in English, like professional... Opinions. uh, Yeah, yeah, opinions in war, war. Helping with the word? Oh. Yeah. The, uh, p- the professional opinions on, yeah. the, you know, the conflict. So they say that this is the biggest war that Israel ever had. Because the first it's about the numbers. That in one day, so many people just murdered and, and, and right. injured. And right. you need to understand that there is no Israeli in Israel that, or Jewish person in the world, I think, that don't, don't have someone that you know. Right. That murdered, involved in this. Right. kidnapped, or maybe injured. Right. It's, right. It, this yeah. is crazy. So everyone right. feel it. And second, it's I think that we live in a, in, in a situation that it's much bigger than than Israel, as we said before. Right. If we're talking about the 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 spiritual war, but right. although it's also a lot of countries involved right now. Right, yeah, so I course. think it's never happened in the past, maybe in 48. Yeah. That there are so many countries that have interest in this war. Right. China, Russia, uh, uh, Iran, Iran yeah. USA, Europe, Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many countries right Turkey. now 
Inside. And all and 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 the, and the the fact that this song, and this dream and this meeting and this and all of it would like culminate now. That's how you know that God wants it to get out. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's an assignment. Mm -hmm. There's songs that you do and you write and you release and you're like, oh, I wonder. Then there's songs that are like, no, this is an assignment. Mm -hmm. Like there's something on this. I need to tell you for this season that I was called to reserve to come to the army, and I just canceled the. I I was booked to come here and to do some uh, concerts like a music tour, and on my journey like, to come here to to record the song, to finish the song. And I just canceled it because of the war. Mm -hmm. And then my captain just uh, uh, heard that I canceling the, the tour and told me, please don't cancel it. I will let you go to the tour and then to come back to the army. And actually a couple of days from now, I will come back to the, to the army. I will go back to the army. But he said like, I think that you need to do it because you uh, can speak and, and tell the truth to the people of U.S. and it's very important to influence mm. the truth now in, in the U.S. So this thing almost was almost canceled and in the last minute it came from the people mm. from the army that told me go and do it. That wow. This is very unique. I think, I think it's not happening a lot. And day after he told me this and I rebooked everything, I got a call from the army saying you need to come tomorrow <laughs> this is something that i didn't tell you and then i said like what i just i just talk with everyone and i talk with you and i talk with yeah, like yeah. and i have like around 12 events that, that already booked right, with you. Right, right. and i said like and i th i call again to my captain and then and i before i called him i just said to my wife okay so now it's real i need to decide if i'm gonna fight in this war or i'm just traveling but it, I, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't say to the army, no. So she said, as your wife, wife, the wives, uh, the, the women are very smart. So yes. I have to say. <laughs> she said, the first time to cancel everything, call, call him and just call him. And uh, it was a moment before I, I, I called you to say, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. And I just called him and he said, oh, no, no, no. You don't need to come. It's just a mistake. You, you, oh, it's OK. Wow. It's not. I know you, you, you will come when you come back. It's important that you will fly. Wow. So it was like ups and down all the time wow. if I need to fly or not. Wow. And thanks God. Now I feel that it's so important. And, and this project and this journey that I'm doing right in the U right now in the U S it's so important to bring this message here to U S yeah. to, to, to help U S to help Israel. Yeah. I can say, and uh, I want to just say thank you and thank you for the for the you are sitting here in the U.S. and thinking about us and yeah. and and want to bless us and want to help and um, as I said, it's a common war, but we don't take it as a uh, as something uh, for granted. We, do, we we I really feel that I need to say thank you for doing this because I know that you're risking a lot you and you and uh, that's it so thank you thank you for coming thank you yeah, yeah.